The night I thought my world had crumbled was the same night everything changed. Heartbroken and feeling lost after my breakup, I found myself drowning in my thoughts at home. The house was unusually quiet, and I couldn't bear the weight of my emotions. My stepmom, Claudia, had been out with her friend Lila for a girls' night, something they did every once in a while to unwind. I wasn't expecting to see them until late, so I sat in my room, staring blankly at the walls, wondering how everything had fallen apart so quickly. Claudia had always been kind to me. She wasn't the stereotypical stepmom from fairy tales, cold and distant. She had been part of my life for over a decade, ever since she married my dad when I was still in high school. My father worked overseas a lot, leaving Claudia and me to form our own little dynamic at home. We became close, closer than I expected. In some ways, she understood me better than my own parents. And although our relationship had been primarily built on a mother-son bond, there had always been an underlying tension I couldn't quite put into words. Still, I had never let myself think too deeply about it until that night. The door to the house creaked open and the unmistakable sound of laughter echoed through the hallway. I sighed, knowing my stepmom and her friend were back, likely tipsy from their night out. I wasn't in the mood for company, let alone their drunk antics, so I stayed in my room hoping they'd head straight to bed. But the sound of their giggles grew louder and soon I heard a knock at my door. Hey, you in there? Claudia's voice was slurred, but it had a playful tone that was hard to ignore. Come out here, we need to cheer you up. I hesitated, but something in me, maybe it was the need for distraction, made me get up and open the door. Claudia stood there, leaning against the door frame, her eyes slightly glazed from the alcohol. Lila, her best friend, was behind her, grinning mischievously. What's going on? I asked, trying to sound disinterested. Oh, don't act all mopey, Claudia said, stepping into the room uninvited. Lila and I were talking, and we decided it's a shame for you to be sitting here, heartbroken and alone. Lila followed her in, the smell of wine heavy on her breath. Yeah, we thought you could use some company, she chimed in, her voice just as tipsy. She walked over and flopped down onto my bed, looking at me with a teasing glint in her eyes. Besides, we're in a mood to have some fun. You should join us. I raised an eyebrow, confused by the whole situation. I appreciate the concern, but I'm really not in the mood for anything. Claudia walked up to me, placing a hand on my shoulder. Nonsense, she said softly, her tone shifting from playful to something else entirely. She looked at me in a way she never had before. You're too young to be sulking over some girl. You deserve to feel better. Her touch lingered longer than I expected, and something about the way she was looking at me made my heart race. I had never seen this side of her before. This was more than just concern. It was something I couldn't quite put my finger on, but it was undeniably different. Lila still sprawled on the bed, stretched and sat up, watching us with a knowing smile. She's right, you know. We're here to make you feel better, so why not just go with it? I tried to brush it off as harmless drunken banter, but there was a tension in the room I couldn't ignore. Claudia's hand slid down my arm and I felt my pulse quicken. I couldn't tell if it was the alcohol or something else driving her actions, but I knew we were crossing a line. Claudia, you're drunk, I said, my voice shaky, unsure of where this was going. Maybe, she said, stepping even closer, her body pressing lightly against mine, but I'm not that drunk. I know what I'm doing. My heart pounded in my chest as I tried to make sense of the situation. This was my stepmom, the woman who had raised me for years, but the way she was touching me now felt nothing like the maternal care I was used to. Her eyes bore into mine, filled with a hunger I had never seen before. Lila got up from the bed, slowly walking over to us. We're both adults here, she said, her voice smooth and teasing, no one's doing anything they don't want to. Her words hung in the air as the room seemed to shrink around us. Claudia's hand moved up to my neck, her fingers grazing the skin there. I was frozen, unsure whether to stop this or let it continue. A part of me, the rational side, screamed at me to back away, to tell them both to leave. But another part, the part that had always harbored a secret, forbidden attraction to Claudia, 
wanted nothing more than to give in. Before I could say anything, Claudia leaned in, her lips brushing mine in a soft, tentative kiss. The sensation sent a shock through my body, and I stood there, stunned, as she pulled back slightly, waiting to see how I'd react. I should have stopped it. I should have walked away, but I didn't. Instead, I kissed her back. The moment our lips met again, the room seemed to spin around us. It was surreal, the culmination of years of buried feelings suddenly exploding to the surface. Claudia deepened the kiss, her hands tangling in my hair, and I felt my hands instinctively wrap around her waist, pulling her closer. Lila, watching from beside us, laughed softly, clearly enjoying the show. Well, well, she said, her voice low. I didn't think you had it in you. Her words barely registered as Claudia's kiss grew more passionate, her body pressed against mine in a way that left no room for doubt about where this was going. My mind raced with conflicting emotions, but my body had already made the decision for me. Claudia pulled back just long enough to look at me, her breathing heavy. We don't have to stop, she whispered, her voice laced with both desire and uncertainty. Unless you want to. I couldn't bring myself to speak, so I simply shook my head, signaling for her to continue. Lila stepped in closer, her hand sliding up my arm. Then let's not stop, she whispered, her lips brushing against my ear. Before I knew it, we were all tangled together, the lines between right and wrong blurring as passion took over. Clothing was discarded in a flurry of hands and heat, and the boundaries that once defined our relationship shattered completely. The night was a haze of stolen kisses, whispered promises, and touches that sent shivers down my spine. Claudia and Lila were relentless, their bodies moving against mine with a hunger I hadn't expected. It was overwhelming, intoxicating, and by the time it was over, I was left breathless, my mind spinning from the intensity of it all. When the sun began to rise, the three of us lay tangled in the sheets, the weight of what had happened slowly sinking in. Claudia rested her head on my chest, her fingers tracing idle patterns on my skin. Lila lay on my other side, her eyes closed in contentment. I stared up at the ceiling, trying to process the whirlwind of emotions that flooded my mind. I had come into the night heartbroken, devastated by the end of a relationship that had meant everything to me. But now, in the aftermath of what had just unfolded, I felt a strange sense of closure. What I had with Claudia and Lila was nothing like I had experienced before. It was raw, unfiltered, and in a way, it had filled the void my breakup had left behind. But as the haze of the night began to fade, reality started to creep in. What had just happened was more than just a drunken mistake. It was something deeper, something I couldn't easily explain or walk away from. And as I lay there, my arms wrapped around the two women who had just turned my world upside down, I realized that everything had changed. As the light of dawn filtered through the blinds, casting a soft glow on the room, the gravity of the night began to sink in. Claudia stirred beside me, her hand still resting on my chest, while Lila shifted slightly on my other side, her breathing slow and steady. I lay there, staring at the ceiling, my thoughts racing as I tried to make sense of everything that had happened. What had started as a desperate attempt to escape my heartbreak had turned into something far more complicated, far more intimate than I ever imagined. My relationship with Claudia, the woman who had practically raised me, had shifted in a way I never thought possible. And Lila, her friend, had become a part of this tangled web adding another layer to an already overwhelming situation. I wanted to feel guilty. I wanted to regret it. But as I lay there, with Claudia's warmth pressed against me, guilt wasn't the emotion that dominated my thoughts. Instead, there was a strange sense of peace, a calm I hadn't felt in weeks. The heartbreak that had consumed me just hours before seemed distant now, replaced by something more immediate, more visceral, Claudia stirred again, her eyes slowly fluttering open. She looked up at me, her expression soft and a little uncertain. For a moment, neither of us said anything, the silence heavy with the weight of what we had done. Finally, she broke the silence, 
her voice barely above a whisper. Are you okay? She asked, her hand gently brushing my chest. I nodded, though I wasn't entirely sure if I believed it myself. Yeah, I think so. Claudia gave her a look, but it was more amused than angry. Lila, don't. Lila shrugged, lying back down and closing her eyes again, clearly not interested in overthinking the situation. Hey, I'm just saying, it worked. Claudia turned her attention back to me, her expression softening. Listen, last night, she trailed off searching for the right words. I don't want you to feel like we crossed a line you weren't ready for. Her concern was genuine, and for a moment, I was grateful for the tenderness in her voice. But as I looked at her, I realized something. Whatever line had been crossed, it wasn't just them who had stepped over it. I had been an active participant, drawn in not just by their advances, but by my own desire, my own need for comfort, connection, and something more. I don't feel that way, I said quietly. I'm not sure what I feel, but I don't regret it. Claudia studied my face for a moment, her eyes searching mine as if trying to gauge whether I was being truthful. Slowly, she nodded, her expression softening even further. Good, she whispered, leaning down to press a soft kiss to my forehead. Because neither do I. Her words sent a wave of warmth through me, but they also left me feeling conflicted. What did this mean for us now, for the dynamic we had shared for so many years? There were questions swirling in my mind that I didn't have the answers to. I wasn't even sure if I wanted to face those questions yet. As Lila finally drifted back to sleep beside us, Claudia shifted closer, resting her head against my shoulder. The silence that followed was comforting, but it also left me alone with my thoughts. I knew that what had happened between us was more than just a night of passion fueled by alcohol. There had been something real in those moments, an unspoken connection that neither of us had acknowledged until now, but that connection came with complications. Claudia was my stepmom, and despite the fact that my father was rarely around, I knew this was a line that society would never understand. Lila's involvement only added to the complexity, turning this into something that couldn't easily be explained away. But even with all those complications, a part of me didn't want to undo what had happened. It was as if the events of the night had awakened something in me, something deeper than the heartbreak I had been drowning in for weeks. Claudia and Lila had shown me a side of myself I hadn't realized existed, and now that it had surfaced, there was no turning back. Claudia lifted her heed and looked at me again, her eyes filled with concern. What are you thinking? She asked softly. I hesitated for a moment, unsure how to put my thoughts into words. I'm just trying to figure out where we go from here. Her expression grew thoughtful and she glanced over at Lila, who was still sleeping peacefully beside us. That's something we're going to have to figure out together, she said finally. I know this isn't normal, but I don't want to pretend like nothing happened. I nodded, feeling a sense of relief that she wasn't trying to brush the night aside as a drunken mistake. I don't either. Claudia smiled faintly, and for a moment, the tension between us eased. She sat up slightly, brushing her fingers through her hair as she glanced down at Lila. We should probably talk about this when she's awake, she said with a small laugh. I chuckled, the weight of the situation lifting just a little. Yeah, that might be a good idea. As the morning light grew brighter, the three of us lay there in a comfortable silence. It was strange, the way everything had shifted in such a short span of time. Just hours ago, I had been wallowing in heartbreak, feeling like my world had come crashing down. And now, I found myself in bed with two women, one of whom had been a part of my life for years in a way I never expected. The day would come when we would have to face the consequences of what had happened. But for now, in the quiet of the morning, I allowed myself to feel the strange, twisted sense of peace that had settled over us. No matter what came next, there was no denying that everything had changed. The lines between love, desire, and the roles we had once played in each other's lives were forever blurred. And as I lay there, caught between the past and the future, 
I realized that maybe, just maybe, 